Welcome to my first kind of how-to tip on painting kind of video. I'm not a professional or anything else like that, but I do love painting pretty fast and getting it done and tabletop worthy. Um, the main techniques that I use are mainly inks over white or grays, uh, some tans as far as my base spray paint goes. Um, I like to use a lot of shades. I like to use a lot of watered down air. Um, but you can see right here as I'm applying this uh, Drakenhof Nightshade uh, that I'm putting it on pretty liberally. And um, you'll notice I'm kind of always turning it at a certain type of angle so that way I know where the drip is going to be kind of heading. Uh, mainly where the uh, the majority of the weight of the paint is going to head. Um, and that kind of helps as you're applying it to stick to that area. Um, or at least that's what I found over time. And I've been working on this kind of technique for a, a long time. Again, I'm not a professional or anything else like that. Um, I've entered into a few painting competitions back in the days when GW had... Uh, games days but uh, the best I ever did was fourth or fifth place um, so not not very good and definitely not golden demon standard but you know spent a lot of time painting um, and spent a lot of time just painting single miniatures in order to try to get the best quality I could and I ended up finding over time I just stopped enjoying it and as I developed a family I realized I was spending more time painting and putting together miniatures than than I was spending playing or also spending time with the family so ultimately I decided to cut out my painting time and try to develop techniques where I could paint stuff to play faster mm -hmm. and it still looked good and here you'll see that I'm using different types of uh, all kinds of different types of inks or liners um, in this case right here I thin down the paint uh, in order to make it a little bit uh, I guess less viscous um, thin it out uh, and apply it over already another color that I had used here I'm applying it to the bracers what I'm going to do is, is use that red liner as a base in order to pop any gold or bronze that I might play place on top of it um, red's always a good underneath color for for those types of um, reddish bronze copper brass colors even gold here I'm using a blue tone to add some depth to the very pastel uh, blue that I had already applied and this is as you can see adding some shadow and some depth pretty easily and that's just one coat over that one coat on the back end and then one coat over the brace and again turning it to where the ink is going to drop into the crevices that I want or apply the darker shade where I need it to go. Here I'm going to use this purple ink in order to uh, add a little more depth to the pastel purple. Uh, I'm, it's not necessarily an actual pastel, it's just the very air colors that I was using watered down creates a very pastel look and, and applying the air and then the ink over the top of the air uh, gives it a little more saturation. Here I am using uh, Seraphim Sepia uh, on bone. Always gives a good um, weathered bone look. And of course you can come back with some bone colors and add to it to create more highlights. But I'm always fine as, as a speed painting point to just apply one coat and let you know my accidental touching 
you know, wipe away some of the uh, um, highlights that are going to be there. And over time, as you're painting, you'll have little touches here and there where it actually kind of removes the top edges of paint, which honestly, to me, ends up looking like highlights. But that's to each their own. You can always come back and apply more. Here I'm using an, an air, not actually watered down, to apply a very uh, thick band of silver to the edge of this um, blade where I had applied uh, Drakenhof to to make the blade kind of look almost maybe obsidian or a different type of metal, a very dark steel. And then I'm going to go over the top of that, which I didn't catch for some reason in the video. Um, I'm using a blue tone uh, from Army Painter, which is an ink, and I applied it over the top of that silver to create to create a like a glowing incandescent, you know, metal with a blue tone. Here I'm applying a purple tone over the top of this uh, blue tone that I applied earlier to the weapon and to the bracers um, just to kind of fade it into the blue to give it that you know warping color and look you know that's kind of famous with Zinch and finally applying a little bit of uh, copper I believe it's um, an army painter color that I'm using. It may not be copper. It may actually be um, brass, but I believe it is copper. Yeah, it is copper. I'm applying that to the areas that, of course, are going to be colored copper. And then I go back over the top of the copper with Reichland Flesh Shade in order to um, tone down the copper. And actually right here, you'll see that I had dried off the brush real quick like with my hand and picked up the ink because I had applied so much ink to it. Um, I had picked up the ink with the dry part of the brush and spread it back out and I'll do that quite often if I feel like I accidentally put too much on I'll draw the brush with my finger or rub it across my hand and then immediately go back to peeling up on the paint that I'd already put there in order to apply it over the layer a little more and then a little bit of Drakenhof nightshade in the eyes I've, I've stopped painting the whites of the eyes a long time ago and you know start just adding shade and looks fantastic from a, a standpoint of you know tabletop view and then here I'm applying color to the base um, occasionally I'll throw on some flock or something like that but generally I, I do a lot of, of kind of watercolor technique with the inks um, in order just to spread it out and, and not to give a fully discernible base um, color so that way when it dries it's it, it can be kind of muted so they can be playing in the woods they can be playing on the concrete or wherever and, and you know it doesn't detract away from from where you're actually playing but as you can see uh, this was basically a 10 minute video of a 30 minute paint job tried to keep it quick uh, and simple um, and matches uh, magister uh, playing this for more time but hope you enjoyed the video maybe you learned some things or maybe you can end up shouting out to me and teaching me some things but anyways appreciate it much